Good afternoon, everyone. This is Christian with PerfectStockAlert.com, a 100% free service for smart investors and traders. Today is Tuesday, July 27, 2010, and like we do every night, it's time to look at the markets. Check this out. All right, today let's start with looking at the FTSE, the London Financial Times Index. We told you guys this one down here at this point was uh, turning around as you could see a bounce right here it just wasn't selling off properly it was more of a consolidation period before reversal and that's exactly what happened and we told you to wait for a signal a particular signal known as an inverted hammer and boom there she is okay so that's the move I'm looking for right there I want to short that does not mean it cannot continue to go higher it is just already uh, signaled that this is a good entry to start adding to your short position and uh, so that was exactly what I would be doing there. That uh, makes perfect sense. Let me get rid of those and we will mark it up. All right. Going to short this guy right here and note, like we talked about before, uh, this guy's in an overall downtrend. Note the low points here. And this last low point right here uh, never formed a hammer formation or anything like it. You had an inverted hammer here, an inverted hammer here, all of which is telling you this guy is going to go lower. And now you get this bounce, wait for that signal, there it is, and you get to short it, okay? Uh, that's very easy short. I would short anything from this point or higher on the FTSE, a very easy short. Uh, okay, let's go on and look at the Hang Seng. Been keeping an eye on the Hang Seng Index for a while now, waiting for it to get to that overbought condition again, like you had back here, where you can start adding to your short position, and now we're there, okay? We've got the opportunity set up right here, and you'll notice you've got, now in this particular chart, this has got gaps all the time. It's quite common. So we absolutely ignore the gaps in this particular situation. But what you can't ignore is basic technical analysis, and which states a, a strong advance must happen off of uh, some kind of good consolidation period. And this is not that. This is a wide consolidating period, and it's not uh, very strong at all. So any advance up here would then fail and then come back down here to this level anyway. So it's a zero risk short. If she breaks down, more power to you, you're making good money. If she advances, you're risking almost nothing because she'll still come down and have to test this support line right here, or this uh, resistance line, which then have to be tested for support. So it's a zero risk uh, trade right there, in my opinion. And again, we're still making new lows and no reason to expect anything otherwise here. Uh, you, again, note there's no hammer formations at this low point or this low point. These are on a short-term blips to the upside before we turn around and roll back it away. Also, finding resistance at the 200-day moving average, the upper Bollinger Band line, and we've had one, two, three, four, five, six consecutive days to the upside. Okay, that's the high end, and you'll be looking for this guy to reverse shortly. Okay. One more thing to note about the Hang Seng Index: you'll notice this high point here. Let me take this guy up here. Put him up there. He's higher than this guy. Yet price activity right there shows a higher close than this guy. That would be a bearish divergence. All right, and the reason to be a shorter or to be a bear. Okay. Also, you'll notice price activity is higher than the previous high based on the closing points. Yet the activity of the uh, MACD does not show that. In fact, they're showing a decrease in momentum. While prices continue to move higher, that is a again a bearish divergence. The same is noted on the RSI indicator. A quick look at the Nasdaq, the six-month chart. Each candlestick is one day. You'll notice dark cloud cover right here forming today. Uh, low volume again. We're seeing uh, the continuation of this low volume, but it's getting worse as time goes on. And again, still lots of gaps down here to fill. Nothing bullish about this signal at all. And I'd be looking for this to break down sooner rather than later. Uh, one of the things you need to note, uh, when you're looking at uh, market activity and you're seeing what's uh, possible to happen, what's probable to happen, and uh, then you take that information and you figure out, okay, these are the things that the market could do at this uh, point in time. Then you watch to see what it actually does. And depending on which method it follows, which model it follows, uh, you know how strong or how weak the uh, market is. If it's really bullish, you'll get one result. If it's really bearish, you'll get another result. And let me show you right quick what I'm talking about here. Uh, it's common for uh, price activity to break out of a uh, resistance level, okay? And if you're on an uptrend, you can see a breakout of a single resistance level, not that big a deal. Uh, even on a very strong chart, you'll see a breakout of a second resistance line. So you could see, uh, like, on the Dow Jones, this would be at the level of 11,000, which was what we said was the high end for the, the run potential there. But this guy is starting to fail here, and we were saying that this guy could actually come up here and test this level here, but now she's starting to already fail here. And there's something you need to know. A lot of your 
bulls out there are looking at basic technical analysis and they're saying this is a high point here on the slow stodge corresponding with the high point here on the price activity then they've got a new high point here breaking above the previous one yet price activity here is not higher than this one all right let me show you what that looks like right quick okay this high point here all right this high point here we got a video on this stuff on our website if you guys want to see that 100 percent free all right there you go and there you go all right make this nice and dark so we can see it and these high points here are trending lower and these high points here are trending higher this would be called a bull setup and a lot of bulls out there looking for this to price activity continue to move higher which it still may do so uh, but advanced technical analysis states these will fail again and again divergences bullish divergence will fail again and again in a strong downtrend so this means that if she fails you know something about this market you know that what I've been saying about this is a serious bear market is actually showing you in fact it is it is failing to follow uh, the divert the bullish divergence so when if it if it fails to break out which is showing itself to having potential of doing that you need to be concerned if you're a bull because uh, yeah the bears are right this is actually a lot worse than people are saying it is okay something to note there you also notice the same conditions uh, noted on the uh, MACD okay high point here higher high here yet price activity is still showing a high point here and a lower high there right and same on the RSI so be watching that that is a uh, uh, possible trap for uh, trying to get bulls so don't fall for that really do your homework if this is the only indicator you have telling you to go buy you better rethink that or go watch that video on our website that talks about the advanced uh, analysis of uh, said setups okay okay quick look at the gold chart here uh, see what I was talking about a moment ago got this low point here and a higher low here starting to show an uptrend while low points corresponding with the chart activity were here and here showing a downtrend someone could have easily looked at this and said hey man this is a bullish divergence I want to buy and it broke down again pointing out that these guys these bullish divergences will break down in a bear market okay so keep that in mind if you're seeing it on your uh, metal charts gold silver such uh, stuff like that uh, or oil uh, you're going to start seeing it in your overall markets okay it's a big fat warning sign so to speak okay cool quick look at the Dow Jones Industrial Average six month chart each kind of six one day we notice we've got four consecutive days to the upside and uh, bear, uh, bulls can't win right here you've got either two choices either she continues to advance which today is showing a, uh, a pivot point or a hesitation level where she could go either way here uh, so if she advances to the upside, she makes it five consecutive days to the upside. She put she put herself into a situation where she'd have to keep going because, and then at the same time she'd run out of steam. She'd have too many days to the upside, and it would be a peak anyway. So uh, she can't win on the upside. And if she pulls back down, then she'd be failing at this first level of resistance, showing a great deal of weakness. Nothing good there. So again, I'm gonna stay short, and you'll notice again a more weak volume and overbought here. Everything is just nasty for the bulls great looking for the bears so load up if you've not been to our free website at perfectstockalert.com 100% free right there all we ask in return for a friend very cool also in six days starting next week on Monday uh, we begin our August trading course a live trading course where we actually teach you guys how to do this stuff teach you guys how to read the charts and how to use that stuff all right go to the website 100% free go check that out and you can read up about that it only holds 200 guys so it's first come first serve and some of those places have already been filled all right let's have a look at our disclaimer the disclaimer read it and weep all right, we broke over 2,000 subscribers on our YouTube channel. Thank you very much for that support. We could not do it without you guys referring your friends and sharing our videos online. We appreciate that. Thank you very much. Please feel free to continue to subscribe to our YouTube channel if you've not already done that, or we'll hit you with a stick and refer a friend. Awesome. I'll see you on our website. Remember, there's lots of cool videos there telling you how to do this stuff for yourself. Very cool.